Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Steven Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media. So I've been starting to do a series on the best uh, free VST plugins that I've worked with and that I thought were worth recommending to you. And in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about some very useful tools from a small company called Boz Digital. And I've been working with some of the Boz plugins for a number of years. I'm a big fan. In fact, I use a number of the paid plugins, especially their Tilt EQ, which is just a fabulous uh, tilt style equalization. I see it on a lot of mixes. In this series, I wanted to look at their three free offerings, totally free VSTs, available also in AU and AAX formats. And they are the width knob and the panipulator, which are both best suited to groups or uh, master buses, as well as a third one called Bark of Dog, which I'll cover in a moment. So the width plugin is really, really simple. It's, it's just a very simple way to widen up a mix. And it's subtle. It's not a huge over the top widening. If we want to look at the stereo field, I'll call up stereo tool. Matter of fact, Stereo Tool is another free plugin I'll be looking at in a future tutorial. So the width knob is a very useful single go from inverted 100% width to fully widened in the normal stereo field. As we saw in the Stereo Tool plugin, it doesn't tend to bring about a lot of phase issues. It's a very, very well designed and simple to use tool. So well worth checking out if you're just looking for a tool that'll help you just build a little bit of width and especially into certain tracks. And the next one, this is Panipulator. And Panipulator, I've long used this in my mixes. I started using it in Pro Tools uh, several years ago. And it's just it's just a fabulous tool because it just, at the flick of a switch, we can check mono, we can flip our left and right channels, but we could also just listen to things in a particular polarity. And here we can also set it to left only, right only, and then left and right at three different uh, dB levels, which is nice to hear the effects of gain upon your mix, which as we know, as mixes get louder, they sound better because of something called the Fletcher Munson curve or the equal loudness curve, meaning that things, bass sounds more prominent, high sound more prominent as we hear things at a louder actual volume. And this lets you double check that, that you're not hearing something that's not really there. That's Panipulator, and it's a wonderful way to double check. You're not seeing phase issues, uh, mono compatibility, et cetera. Really important, especially if you're working in dance music. Many clubs are actually dual output mono. We don't want to hear precious detailed parts just disappearing because they're entirely part of the far end stereo fields and are canceling each other out. So that's Panipulator. The third one is one of the ones that really sees in almost every one of my uh, tracks, and that is Bark of Dog. Bark of Dog is just a simple resonant filter, but the way it's implemented makes it a really great choice for using your ears and not your eyes, and just really kind of developing a good sense of tuning, say, certain elements, especially on drums. For example, we've got our amplitude here, our frequency, mix and gain, four controls. It's just a resonant filter, but the way we hear it really just kind of working this knob up putting that in I can find a particular frequency and just sweep it around so it's great for both cutting out a particular band say below uh, 400 Hertz here or really accenting something and I can then bring out a particular aspect of frequency that I really want to hear, 
and maybe accent the tuning of like my sine kicks or something like that. In fact, we'll just do it to kicks here. And then we can just back it off in parallel and really just kind of get some of that emphasis for frequency without necessarily being over the top. And I also use it quite often on snares and claps. just to find an accent that particular frequency, and then again, just back it off. And this is nice in allowing you to emphasize a particular area of frequencies. I'll also use this in conjunction with, say, loops or parts that I want to remove sections of. Here I've got Bring that in. That's a great way to say remove aspects. Quite often in live, I'll come over here and map it to the XY. For some real easy sweep control. A great way to accent certain things. It works great on changing uh, tonalities of your kicks through a song or of say bringing this, this beat in without that low end. And then just firing it off. and using it in a way that really fine tunes the frequency spectrum of your drums. Really helps kind of bring some life in there. That's Boz Digital Collection, uh, the free tools. Boz Digital, that was Bark of Dog, Panipulator, and Width. I'm Steven Ellis, dead for ADSR. Thanks for checking this out. Have a great day.